students, myself Subrata Mukherjee, and I request the student to note the problem in your notebook so that you can understand it properly. And today we will discuss a problem on single entry. Mr. Dipanka, a retail trader, needs financial statements for the year ended 31st March 2013. For availing a bank loan, he gives you the following information regarding receipts and payments. Cash deposited into the bank account rupees one lakh five thousand. Dividend from companies deposited in bank account rupees five thousand. Tuition fees of child paid by check rupees fifteen thousand. Rent for the year paid by cash rupees twenty four thousand. Cash collection from debtors rupees five lakh fifty thousand. Amounts paid to creditors rupees four lakh in cash and rupees one lakh by check. Salary and wages paid in cash rupees thirty six thousand. Office electricity paid by check rupees twelve thousand. General expenses incurred in cash rupees eighteen thousand. Drawing every month rupees six thousand by cash. Stock opening balance on thirty first March two thousand twelve and closing balance thirty first March two thousand thirteen. Stock opening. Rupees three lakh twenty thousand closing four lakh forty thousand bank opening balance rupees fifty five thousand closing balance rupees thirty eight thousand cash opening rupees ten thousand closing rupees twelve thousand debtors opening rupees seventy five thousand closing rupees eighty six thousand creditors rupees opening rupees forty eight thousand and closing rupees seventy thousand prepare his trading and profit and loss account for the year ended thirty first March two thousand thirteen. And balance it as a 31st March 2013. In this problem, I have opened the balance it as a 31st March 2012 in order to find out the opening capital. Next, I have opened the trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2013. Then the closing balance sheet that is balance sheet as a 31st March 2013. Next, cash and bank account. Then, debtor account and creditor account. So, these are the minimum account that you need to open when you are solving a problem of single entry. Now, from each ledger, I will show you what are the different uh, balancing figure and the, what are the different uh, items that you need to calculate or you will get from each of this ledger. So I will start with the opening and the closing balances that is given in the question. So the first item is the stock. So opening and closing stock will appear in the trading account and as well as in the opening and the closing balance sheet. So two opening stock. So opening stock 3,20,000 and closing stock 4,40,000 I have posted in trading account. And then the opening stock will be posted in the opening balance sheet and closing stock in the closing balance sheet. So the opening stock I have posted in the opening balance sheet as 3,20,000. The closing stock I have posted in the closing balance sheet as 4,40,000. Next is bank balance. The opening cash and bank balance I have posted in cash and bank account. Cash 10,000 and bank 55,000. The closing cash and bank balance I have posted in the cash and bank account as by balance CD 12,000 and 38,000. The opening and the closing balances now I will post in the opening and closing balance sheet. So opening cash balance 10,000 and bank balance 55,000 I have posted in the opening balance sheet that is balance sheet as on 31st March 2012. And the closing cash and bank balance I have posted in the closing balance sheet that is balance sheet as a 31st March 2013 cash 12,000 bank 38,000. Next is data and creditor. Now the opening data balance and the closing data balance of 75,000 and 86,000 I have posted in data account and the opening creditor balance of 48,000 and closing creditor balance of 70,000 I have posted in creditor account. So opening data of 75,000 and closing and the opening creditor balance of 48,000 
again i have posted in the opening balance sheet that is balance sheet on 31st march 2012 and the closing balance sheet a uh, balances uh, of debtor and creditor i will post in the closing balance sheet that is balance sheet as on 31st march 2013 so debtor balance of 86000 and creditor balance of 70000 so i have completed to post all the opening and closing balances given in the question and you will find that each figure i have posted in two places so opening and closing stock i have posted in trading account and in opening and closing balance sheet bank and cash balance i have posted in cash account as well as in opening and closing balance sheet debtor and creditor account i have posted in the debtor and creditor account respectively as well as in the opening and closing balance balance sheet now i will uh, discuss about the adjustment entries so the first item of cash transaction is cash deposited into bank account so this will be a contra entry so two contra or in bank account i will deposit 1 lakh 5000 so and in cash this is basically a contra entry rather i will write here two cash and within bracket i am writing contra and on the credit side by bank and within bracket i am writing contra entry so for your understanding 1 lakh 5000 the next transaction is dividend collected from companies and deposited into bank so two dividend of 5000 so i need to post it in pl account so by dividend in the pl account i am posting it as 5000 next item is tuition fees of child paid by check so in bank column i have written by drawing so within bracket tuition 15000 so this will be posted in the closing balance sheet as drawing so tuition fee which is a drawing i have written in the closing balance sheet as opening capital we will find out from the opening balance sheet and less drawing within bracket i have written 15000 next is rent paid so by in cash account i am writing by rent this is 24000 so this will be posted in pl account so in pl account i am writing to rent 24000 next item is cash collected from debtor so in cash account to debtors 5 lakh 50000 and in debtor account i will post by cash 5 lakh 50000 next item is amount paid to creditor 4 lakh in cash and 1 lakh by check so in cash and bank account i will write by creditor 4 lakh in cash and 1 lakh by check so this will be posted in creditor account so in creditor account i am writing 2 cash 4 lakh and 2 bank 1 lakh next item is salaries and wages so by salary and wage 36000 which is paid in cash so this will be posted in pl account so in pl account i am writing two salary and wages paid in 36000 Next item is office electricity twelve thousand paid by check. So by electricity 
12,000 and in PL account I am posting to electricity. So the journal entry is electric, uh, electricity uh, account debit to bank. So I have posted in bank account by electricity and since electricity is a nominal account so the balance of electricity will be transferred to PL. So the account of electricity will be closed at the end of the year by transferring the balance to PL. So all the nominal ledger will be closed by transferring the balances of nominal ledger to PL. Next is general expenses. So in cash account I am writing by general expenses 18,000 so in PL account again I have to post it so in PL account I will post the amount of general expense as 18,000 last item is drawing every month 6,000 by cash so in cash column I will write by drawings so 6,000 per month means yearly 72,000 of drawing is made by cash. So this will be posted in closing balance sheet. So in closing balance sheet, I have already written one item of drawing as 15,000 and another item 72,000. So I have posted all the transactions in different uh, ledgers. Now I will start closing one by one ledger. So first I will close the opening balance sheet. So to find out the capital opening capital so this is the balancing figure and this is 4 lakh 12 thousand so both side total is 4 lakh 60 thousand now this 4 lakh 12 thousand will be posted in the closing balance sheet so opening capital 4 lakh 12,000 less drawings 15,000 and 72,000 is 87,000 next I will close the cash and bank account so in cash and bank account both side total now in cash account there is a total of 6 lakh 67,000 Six lakh sixty-seven thousand, and it will get a balancing figure, a balance in cash account. So, two sales. So, since there is a balance in the debit side, so this will be the cash sales, and this amount is one lakh seven thousand. I will post this balance in your PL account and trading account. Sorry, in trading account as cash sales, and the both side total of bank bal a bank account is. 1,65,000 1,65,000 so in trading account I am writing buy sales so cash sales is 1,7,000 next to ledger I will close is the data account so on the credit side of data total is 6,36,000 and you will get a balancing figure here this will be cash sales this is the balancing figure this is 5 lakh 61 thousand 6 lakh 36 thousand and on credit side of uh, the credited account you will get a balancing figure over here and this is credit purchase 5 lakh 22 thousand so this is balancing figure so both side total will be 5,70,000. So I have closed the cash and bank account, debtor account and creditor account as well as the opening balance sheet. Now I will put the amount of credit sales. So credit in the trading account. So credit sale amount is 5,61,000. So credit sell 5,61,000 and total sales is 6,68,000, 6,68,000 and on debit side I post here credit purchase and the amount is 5,22,000. So 
two GP CD. This is your balancing figure, the gross profit, and this amount is two lakh sixty six thousand. Both side total of your trading account is eleven lakh eight thousand. Buy GP BD two lakh sixty six thousand. And total of your PL account will be here two lakh seventy one thousand, two lakh seventy one thousand. So twelve thousand rent, salaries and wages thirty six thousand, electricity twelve thousand, and general expense eighteen thousand, and you will get a net profit uh, as one lakh eighty one thousand. And this. A net profit will be transferred to your closing balance sheet. So, and net profit of one lakh eighty one thousand, and your closing capital will be five lakh six thousand, and both side total of your balance sheet will be five lakh seventy six thousand. You have understood the problem, and students who are viewing my channel, I would like to request them to subscribe my channel to get regular updates and to see the playlist section of the channel to see the videos that I have uploaded there. Thank you.